In this video, I'm going to show you how you can split apart a graphic. Here's an example of two separate graphics, but they are part of one large PNG file. So first thing I'm going to do here is go path, trace bitmap. I'm going to click update preview. I can see I like the way that looks. I'll click apply. And now I've got an actual vector. I'll just zoom out a tiny bit, get rid of my original image. And now I've got my vector. I know it's a vector because when I click on edit path by node, I can see now I've got the different nodes there and I could move them around and I could edit if I needed to. But the question becomes, how do I split this out? Because when I click edit paths by node, they're all one big vector. So it's pretty straightforward to break apart this vector. I'm going to click it and then I'm going to go to path, break apart. And now you can see there's two separate dotted line squares one for each part of the heart. So now when I click one part, I can move it and click the other part, I can move it and I can make it look exactly how I want. Now, if you'd like to put these back together, simply click both of them. So I'm holding down the shift key and now I've selected both and I'll go to path, combine. And now it's one big square, one big rectangle and it's one big vector. And you can see now it's moved farther apart. Okay, now what happens if you've got one object that's not split and you'd like to cut it in half, for example. So here I'm going to select my PNG file. I'm going to go path, trace bitmap. I'm going to update my preview. It looks good. I'll click apply. And now I've got myself a vector. So you need to be working with a vector. You can double check by clicking edit path by node. There's my vector. Looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is add in a shape. So I'm going to go here to the rectangle tool on the left hand side, nice and skinny rectangle like that. I've just made it red, but you could change it to any color you like. I'm just using red so it's easy to see. And now I'm going to move this right into the middle of the heart. I'm now going to hold down the shift key and select both the heart and the skinny rectangle and I'll go path division. You'll notice that the rectangle disappears, but what you're left with now are two hearts that are split. I've actually got a middle piece here that is the rectangle. I'm going to delete that out and that leaves me with just the heart. I'll do this again with another type of shape. I'm going to select the circle this time. I'm going to make like an oval here and then I'm going to move the oval into the heart so it's just overlapping it. I'll select both and I'll go path division and we'll see now the heart is still there. You can sort of see a little bit of the circle and when I click outside of it now and I move the heart, you'll see the heart has now been cut because of the overlap piece of the shape that I drew, the oval. So you can have some fun making shapes and then cutting out pieces just like you had a pair of scissors with you. That's a pretty neat tool. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Inkscape. Here's another video on how you can have some fun using Inkscape.